In the Panamanian rainforest, Esitan, the army ant, rules its turf with massive numbers. Army ants travel in deadly columns, a lethal force ever on the move. But this is not an attack. These ants, 500,000 to 700,000 of them, have been marching all night, their young in tow. Theirs is a nomadic existence, embodied in their bivouac. Army ants are their own fortress, a living, breathing domain that travels on countless legs. And those legs are strong. One esitan hanging by its claws can support another hundred ants. For a man to match that feat, he'd have to hold up three armored vehicles. Deep in the recesses of this mass of ants are hidden 200,000 unhatched young. And the esitan queen. She lays eggs by the million keeping the colony alive and forcing it to find sustenance. Dawn and the bivouac stirs. After a night of stillness, the colony must feed. The meter-long mass of legs and feelers rouses itself into action. The ants begin columns that branch apart and widen, becoming an invincible tide that can travel 300 meters a day. It's called a swarm raid, and it consists of several hundred thousand ants. The ants move in a deadly wave, 15 meters across, driving all before them. Those who fail to flee are doomed. Whatever army ants can catch, they consume. The attackers shred their prey so they can carry it back to feed the young. Army ants even overpower the land. They instinctively form bridges that carry the swarm over gaps and gullies. Across these living structures flows a steady stream of corpses. 30,000 a day. In the Panamanian rainforest, Esitan, the army ant, rules its turf with massive numbers. Army ants travel in deadly columns, a lethal force ever on the move. But this is not an attack. These ants, 500,000 to 700,000 of them, have been marching all night, their young in tow. Theirs is a nomadic existence, embodied in their bivouac. Army ants are their own fortress.